Evening guys, I'm doing this on a Thursday uh, purely because uh, I'm going to be working again this weekend. As you know, I'm on the run to the sun and got lots of stuff going on. I'm going to flat out today and tomorrow, so I think tomorrow night when I get back, I'm probably just going to crash out for a bit. Um, yeah, because trying to squeeze a lot of projects into the last, last few weeks. Um, also, I'm trying to work the weekends so that... I basically save the week at the end of the month because I've got a uh, business associate to meet in Spain because, funny enough, he's there at his relative's place. So we're going to meet up um, relating to other projects. Um, how are things going? Well, there's a big move coming over in Spain. Um, we're going to be moving from our two-bedroom apartment to a four-bedroom house. Um, we're looking at the... This will actually help with the YouTube channel um, because I'll actually have an office area. Um, I'm sort of and arming actually um, because it's slightly out of La Mata. And uh, I've had three people say to me, but you're La Mata Matt, you're supposed to live in La Mata. Um, we're actually just the next road down. We're not like miles away. We're lit literally three minutes from La Mata itself. Um, just got a bigger location because um, the kids are getting a bit older. It also gives us a swimming pool and a tennis court. Um, so, yeah, in the office, I've got my other drone. My new drone arrives on the 19th as well. Uh, my wife found out about that yesterday. <laughs> what was it? No, this morning. <laughs> this morning, because uh, it's going straight to Spain. Um, so, yeah, things are developing. Um, Work-wise in Spain... I've got a few projects I'm working on, I'm hoping to build them up, so I'm not in a rush to find anything else. In all honesty, I've got a, enough money for six months at the minute. Um, if another big project comes on with the right money, I might take it though, uh, purely because if i got six months on a good project, um, that's me for probably about 18 months income. Um, so yeah. I'll wait and see. I'm trying to get away from coming back to the UK and I'm slowly working my way to it. Um, I think the new house moves one example, going away from going away from the smaller unit to a bigger unit, but at the same time April can now work as well. So it's not as if all the income has to be me. <laughs> also April's already teaching English now. Um, I, and that will expand out over time, especially if you've got the space for people to come in, have lessons at the house and things. So we're doing okay. Um, one of the things I have sort of um denied on was taking a car from the UK to Spain. Um, I might do that on the next trip if I'm back over for a bit. Um, yeah, because I, I can get a decent car over here in the UK for not a lot of money. And driving it to Spain, it's two hundred thirty pounds in diesel, plus the ferry, which is about hundred quid, um, and then avoiding the toll roads. So it's about a sixteen-hour drive or something. <laughs> but at the same time, if you're not in a rush and there's loads of stuff to see on route, do you care? The answer is no. You enjoy the journey. Uh, could even split it over a couple of days. So I'm still on an hour and on that. Um, cause the van, I'm going to keep the van for now, but I think, um, it's time to start putting the motions in play for a long-term solution in Spain. Um, cause I want to try and get over to Germany for Christmas, uh, take the kids to see the, the winter fairs in Germany. Um, uh, not sure if that'll happen at the minute. I'm still sorting out April's mother from coming over from Spain. i uh, coming over from the Philippines to Spain. Um, Jay's rent one of the apartments and there's been a few interest for the other apartments we've got in Cebu. There's another three available. Um, so if you're interested, get in touch. Ideally, we're looking for long-term tenants because Jay, I think Jay's going to be there. You know, he seems pretty happy there. So he's probably going to be there for the next year or so. Um, and I'm sure the, there's other people wanting a similar sort of setup. One of the things I want to stress on the apartments, we keep them simple. Because like with Jay, Jay's already looking at getting some new furniture and stuff. Well, what happens is, say you go and buy a new bed, we take the bed out of there and we put the bed somewhere else. We, you know, we can, you can actually 
furnish them the way you want. So like say you were there for a year, then think, right, I'm going to go and get a house. You just move your stuff and then we move the other stuff back in. It's as simple as that. We don't care. You know, at the end of the day, we don't care. <laughs> um, we've got the space to store things. So it's not really, a, it's no skin off our nose uh, to move stuff around a bit. Um, also, if you want some stuff stored, you, we, we can do that as well. You know, if, you, if you're going over and want to send some stuff in advance, we can do that to a point. You know, if you send a shipping container, it's a bit different. If you send five ballot buying boxes, no problem. Yeah, but a shipping container, we have got space to park it, but it'd be in the way. <laughs> and I'm sure they'd have a, a job on getting the truck in. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, things are developing. Um, there's a lot of stuff that is ongoing that, it's not ready to discuss it at the minute. There's a lot of stuff going on, which uh, potentially could be me finishing work once this was all up and running in the sense that I may not have to come to the UK except for um, visiting at all. Um, the other good thing about spending a bit of time over here, my brother and my father's coming out to Spain. Um, so I think some of them are coming next month and I think we're very likely to get them over at Christmas. And uh, now we've got the bigger house, makes things much, much easier. So there'll be some stuff coming up on my um, Spanish channel about the new property when we move in. But for those that follow the Spanish stuff and are thinking, oh, I must disappear from the matter. I'm not, I'm literally just up the road. It's my nearest beach that I like. Um, I'm not a fan of the Torreja beaches, so I'm still going to be in La Mata. Um, I go there for my morning coffees and stuff. So yeah, it's still home. La Mata is somewhere we're going to end up. At the end of the day, we sort of took a bigger property on, get get our feet set up in Spain a bit more, and then we'll probably be back. But when we come back, we'll be buying the property um, and moving in, you know, somewhat long term. But right now, we just took on a bigger property for the kids, kids in school and all the usual stuff. Um, but can't really complain. Uh, there's a few other people we know already in the area. Um, yeah, that's life. But yeah, this is an update for this week. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. Nothing dramatic. Um, but I'll be back in Spain by the end of the month. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Yes and no. Because <laughs> when I go back, I've got a week of moving all the furniture stuff as well. So as soon as I arrive back, just picking my van up from the airport, then start moving all the furniture over. Then I'll be painting the apartment we just left. You know, the funny thing is, most other people wouldn't even bother. They were, you know, they're going out of the apartment, they're just like, not my problem. I was brought up with the, the military, and with that, you always leave it in the way you found it, which is normally freshly painted, swept, cleaned, floors washed, etc. Um, but anyway, guys. Catch you later. Then you guys want to know what I'm using here. This is, I use, um, this is on Filmora, uh, Wondershare um, software. But also, this is on the MacBook Air. There's no extra microphone or anything else set up. There's no, this is the webcam on it. I haven't added anything to it. So, just in case, you know, you think, oh, this is okay, or it's crap, whatever. That's what I'm using. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.